The USS Orlick is here on the banks of the St. Johns River and later this year it will hopefully be open to the public as a Naval Ship Museum. I learned more from Justin Weekland, Vice President at the Jacksonville Historic Naval Ship Association. So this is the USS Orlick. It was a destroyer built in World War II, right? And it went on to serve in the Korean War, Vietnam War, and then later it went on to serve with the Turkish Navy during Desert Storm. So it's got this long history that can really connect with a lot of our locals here and a lot of people around the country and world. It was quite a journey to get it here. So our journey started out with um, Lake Charles, Louisiana, where the ship was originally at as a museum. Um, about three years ago, they reached out to us when they found out the Adams was no longer coming here. They said, hey, you have a great city and no ship. We have a great ship and not a great location. Do you want to talk? So we started to talk. Um, and then we got it over to Texas, where we put it up in dry dock to make sure it was good for a museum ship. And then we did this beautiful restoration work to it. And then we brought it here to Jacksonville. It was a 10 day tow across the Gulf of Mexico and around into the Atlantic Ocean. So what they'll learn when they're on board is what it was like to actually live and work on board a Navy vessel during the Vietnam War. Um, in fact, the, some of our locations, we have some of the same places sailors slept in World War II. And it's just amazing, right? So you, you'll, you'll get a sense of what it was like for sailors to work and live and go to war during Vietnam and Korea and World War II. So it's just that great tie in to um, many of our own grandparents, right? Our own fathers and, and parents who've done these things. Um, you get to actually get that sense of it while you're on board. We're just one of those great pieces of revitalizing downtown Jacksonville. Um, the plan for us is, our goal is to open in June. Um, it's gonna move down towards the shipyards area, um, which is near the Berkman II uh, Maxwell House coffee plant. Um, we're gonna see what kind of happens to that area and hopefully it'll, it'll be a nice revitalization area of museums. The Mosh is moving over there, the Jacksonville Fire Museum. So it's gonna be a great destination for tourists and locals.